I'm actually here with Alan Graves, our general counsel here at Shannon. How's it going today? It's going good. Going good. Well, thanks for joining me today. We're going to talk to a little bit about respect. Yep. Uh, one of our key values. And uh, tell me a little bit about what you think respect, when, when you think about respect, what does it mean to you? For me, it starts with uh, respect for others. And, you know, a key way to uh, foster respect for others and to show it is, is through communication, open and honest communication. And, you know, that's a two-way street. And one of the best ways to, and we need to always encourage open and honest communication uh, with our guests and our colleagues. Uh, and one of the best ways you can do that is by listening. You know, my grandmother always uh, said we were born with two ears and one mouth and you should use them proportionally. <laughs> and so, so true. <laughs> uh, you know, that's, uh, listening is a, is a key aspect. And when you, when you listen to others, they feel respected. And when others feel respected by you, then they can respect you. Yeah, I think um, listening is definitely a, a key. And I think also empathizing, mm -hmm. you know, putting yourself in someone else's shoes and seeing things from their perspective uh, are key, um, key to respect too. And one of the things I loved about Shannon over the years is I always felt like respect was something that we really is embedded as one of our core values. And uh, it's the way that we talk to each other on the phone. It's the way we write our emails, um, being thankful that we have such great team members and staff and our physicians at Shannon and the way we interact on a day-to-day -day basis. I'd hate to think I'd have to go to any type of work environment that people didn't respect each other. And I think it's, it's key for having a great place to work at is when you come to work, no matter what your role is at Shannon, because there's lots of different rows, but we have respect for each other because I can tell you right now, all the different rows at Shannon, we need everybody to make make this thing work as well as it does. Yeah, absolutely, I agree completely. And you know, another uh, big part or component to me of respect is, is showing that you care. Um, and that's one thing about Shannon that is, you know, you're talking about how Shannon as an organization, there's respect across the board and, and you really feel it, it's palpable is that uh, people really uh, do a great job here in this organization of showing that they care and it's not just in 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 care scenarios and patient care scenarios but also in office settings and mm -hmm. in, in other areas that we care about uh, the organization we care about the mission that we're carrying out and, and you know let that light shine and when you do that fosters respect amongst uh, everyone and I think too Kind of go on that respect, you know, yeah, it's internal when it comes to how we work with each other, our, our team members, but also, like you said, it's, it's how we deal with our patients and families coming to us. And sometimes they're coming to us at a, a time where it, um, a lot of things are going on with the patient or them, or they're worried about a family member. But even, and, and sometimes we can be having difficult conversations or difficult situations, but always maintaining a high sense of respect for that patient or that family member. And then also I think when I think about respect, it's we see a lots of different patients um, in lots of different settings and, and then always ha treating everybody, everybody, no matter what, they're, what they do outside of Shannon, when patients come to us and families come to us, treating everybody with the utmost respect. I've seen it time and time again because so many of the, the scenarios that I deal with in my role uh, involve very difficult situations and uh, I see resolution in those situations more times than not foster the best through uh, respect through those those areas when when people feel respected those those situations are we're able to resolve situations because of that and uh, when when there's you know those things can get out of control when those when uh, when the respect isn't really there and and I I, I really have not seen that within this organization at all so it's something that's great about Shannon and it, it's respect A to Z, I think, too. It's, it's our internal team members, it's our patients and families that are coming to Shannon's visitors, but also it's also people that we partner with, other not-for-profits, other organizations within our community, vendors, uh, vendor partners that we work with, showing them respect, too, is, I think, key. Yep. Every interaction that we do should have the utmost respect. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to um, share your thoughts about respect with me and thank you for your time and um, you have a great day. Thanks for the opportunity.